Introducing to the ring, Judge Patrick Williams. I'm not getting in the ring yet. I need epicness. All right. Red ball. <laughs> All right, cut my really low music. Pointless. Anyway, as all of UPWC fans on YouTube are probably wondering, and as well as the rest of the internet, why my name has changed. Because my former name can never be spoken of again in UPWC. Just basically on legal issues. But now, I'm using my real name of Patrick Williams, but I recently just got a job as a judge, so I'm making that money now. There's something I gotta talk about though, you see, last show at Final Countdown, I won a match to become number one contender, and just like I normally do, I decided that I was gonna to try to take advantage of the situation. And I tried to attack Fatal. <laughs> but what did Fatal even prove to become the champion? I'm the rightful champion here. What did he do? He beat a man who he's beaten time and time again. That is no accomplishment. I beat three guys in one match. I am the rightful champion. And then when I went to attack him after the match, he overcame my attack and he was able to attack me. Well, if you're able to attack me and you had that much energy after a long match like that, once again, what did you accomplish? Because obviously it wasn't that hard to beat Strife. It couldn't have been difficult at all. So still, do you know what? That's fine, that's fine. Because when I finally get in the ring with you, Fatal, I'm gonna get that belt that belongs to me. That's fine. Let's talk about Strife for a second. You know what? I've been hearing that Strife's been going around saying that he needs a rematch, he deserves a rematch. He doesn't deserve anything. In fact, even if he got a rematch, he would lose. So there's no point of even giving it to him. And as far as I'm concerned, he doesn't even belong in the ring with me, or anyone for that matter. He doesn't belong to be in wrestling, period. Because, now I know that you're gonna hear this in the back, and I know this is gonna really set you off, because you don't even have it anymore. You don't even have the pride. You're nothing. To be honest, if I was you, and if I was Strife, I would go home, whip out your Hawthorne Heights albums, and whip out all those razor blades and just kill yourself. <laughs> really shitty audio system. Alright Doug, or James, or whatever the hell your name is. What happened to you? Huh? Just like, just like Ragnarok. You, you used to be cool. You remember the promos? Remember the Christmas promo? We used to be best friends. What happened to you? What happened to me? You wanna know what happened to me? Yeah, let's talk about that Christmas promo. Yeah, okay, let's make, let's make, at the time, Mike, let's make him the joke. Let's dress him up 
as a fat man just because I'm the big guy to be a Santa Claus. You think I was gonna stick around for that? No. You know what I'm doing now? I'm successful. I have my own company. I am also a judge. I'm making more money in my life right now in the past couple months than you've made in your entire career. I don't do this for money. I do this for the people. For them. I do this to entertain them. I do it for the passion. Do it for the passion? Do it for the people? You know, it's really funny, because nobody likes you. Get that through your head. G Fatal is the most hated guy in UPWC. Even more hated than me, which is a great accomplishment, because honestly, that's really hard to do. But to be completely honest, when he beats you, the fans cheer. They don't like you. You're a lost cause. Look, the fans cheered, because that was the best, the best match they saw in their life. I was honored to be in that match. It doesn't matter how I feel about G Fatal, I was honored to lose to him. That was the best match of my life. You gotta respect that. <laughs> That's funny, me respect you. Yeah, you're just a small child in a grown man's ring. This is my business. Okay, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna prove? You know what? You're right, you're right. You know what? You should respect to lose. And in fact, you should respect to lose to me.